Hello, so today I wanted to do a review of, I, uh, I apologize, I believe this is how I'm going to be pronouncing it, and this is how I'll pronounce it in the rest of the video, I don't know though, it's B-A-O-E-R, I think that's Bauer, I hope I'm right, and I hope I don't frustrate you through the whole video if it's not. So this is a Bauer 388. And I was sent this by my wonderful um, pen pal to try out. And um, so here we go. I've been using this pen for a while now, several weeks. Um, and it's a nice shape. I think it's just um, got like a small taper here towards the end. It's almost like a zebra pattern to it, and I, I know you can see the color there, although I think it's just a little bit lighter in real life than it is on the camera, but it's this deep crimson. It's a really pretty uh, red, or a deep crimson color, and then um, it's kind of striped with black and then black and a mix of the two colors, and so it's got that zebra pattern, and I think you can see that on there. I can see it on the camera. I think you can. And it has gold accents. And so let's measure the pen. Um, on the ruler. Capped. It measures, um, let's see, like at five and a quarter inches. And um, just on the end here, it just has a black dot on the end of the cap. And there are the, the clip is kind of interesting looking. To me it looks like an arrow. I think that's what it's supposed to be. But, you know, the lighting is kind of shiny. But see how it has like almost like a an arrow tip there? Like an arrowhead shape. And then it comes back and it flares out like the fletchings of an arrow here. And it has the little lines there. <clears throat> I think it's supposed to be an arrow. On the band, um, there's a scrolly B and then in regular type the rest of the name. And then the 388 is on the back. Has a nice smooth feel to it. It's a pretty heavy feeling pen, um, but it's super glossy, nice high shine on everything, and um, it just feels nice in the hand. So <clears throat> let's look at it. Oh, and I know some of you like clips. I'm not a big clip fan, although this is kind of a cool clip. You know, it's got a design, but it doesn't scream at you. But, um, you know, it's pretty pretty firm clip. <laughs> so, to uncap the pen, it definitely has, um, you can hear it. And you saw how it kind of slides in, in almost like a slow motion slide. So I think it's like a friction in the click. So you know when the, can, when the pen is capped, for sure. Um, and it just requires, you know, a little pull apart and there's a little snap to it. Inside, <clears throat> excuse me, inside the cap, there is a plastic sleeve so that your, your nib doesn't get knocked around. And the cap itself is pretty heavy. Once you remove this from the pen, there's not a ton of weight left to the pen. I think that the majority of the weight is in the cap. So if you're a person that doesn't want to write with the cap posted, you're going to find that this is a really lightweight pen. With the cap posted, it does post firmly. Just putting it on there, it will post firmly. Um, with the cap posted, the pen measures like six and a quarter inches. And when I take that off, and you know what? There's no marking at all on the uh, on this. And I think that that plastic sleeve also helps so that this doesn't get marked, which is nice. And then unposted the pen measures four and three quarters inches. So it's a it's a nice size pen. For me, it fits in my hand pretty well, just like that unposted, and that's how I would write with it because it takes so much of the weight off. So when we look at uh, the pen a little more closely on the inside here, it just has a smooth black grip section. There's that gold band that kind of continues down, although you don't feel that step at all down here, but then down here you do feel, you, you will feel the step between the grip and this little metal band. So 
the nib is actually two-tone and on the nib is the only design on the nib is um, the name Bauer and then I think you can see that it says Bauer and then it has like a lined design going around this part of the nib um, and that's actually silver you can't see that too well because my ink is there um, there's some ink on the nib and that's a silver part the tip is gold the part closest to the grip is gold and then you have that little silver band on the back I think it's just a plastic feed um, nothing too fancy there to get at the cartridge converter area you're just going to unscrew it and it did come with this converter and it's a Bauer converter and I don't know if it would take something else but it came with the pen it says Bauer up at the top of the converter and um, on the sticker there's some writing that I can't read and this is just a plain old converter that you just twist down and you twist back up like I'm sure you've seen in my other videos um, so to fill the pen uh, you're just going to dip it in the ink twist this twist it down twist it back up and the ink will draw up you want to make sure that the ink covers at least like up to here you want to cover any holes back here at the tip of the or at the very base of the nib and it'll draw the ink up right now I have I think this is scribal workshop mermaid um, I know it's mermaid I think it's scribal workshop that a friend sent me and this might be my favorite ink ever so <clears throat> I'll just screw that back on and let's do a writing sample so I have used this pen at length but I haven't used it in probably about a week so let's see if we have any startup issues little bit so this is actually like you know good for you to see because you always see me struggling when I first fill the pen and then people tell me I need to let the feed sit and um, I can appreciate that and I appreciate the advice but then sometimes you have startup issues with your pen so I'm just gonna turn this a little bit and hopefully not make a mess and kinda get some of that ink going I feel like I see ink but could be wrong. I was wrong. I always think I come prepared and you never know what's gonna happen. Once the once you turn this thing on, who knows? So I'm gonna put this over some paper towels so I don't ruin my paper. And I'm just turning it, I think you can see that, to try to get some ink to come out of the pen. I didn't want to do that because I am so sad that I only have a small sample of this ink. I need to buy it. But, you know, I don't want to waste my mermaid on paper towel. Oh, well. There we go. This is a Bauer 388. I don't know what size nib this is. There is no indication of that at all on the nib I would imagine I think this I don't know if it's a Japanese pen it is an Asian style pen um, because I saw the tag there I don't know what size it is I would imagine this is mm, well now I'm kind of curious to find out let's compare shall we what did I oh it's right here I'm like I just had this thing this is a fine well that doesn't help when I do that yeah I would say this is this is probably a fine nib I'm guessing an F nib so you saw a little start up there F nib question mark something wrong with my writing today fountain pen And I want to say that this is Scribal Workshop. Mermaid, which is just, oh my god. This is a gorgeous ink. Is this even doing it justice? Let's see. Hmm. It's just, oh, so pretty. 
such a rich, vibrant, turquoisey leaning blue. It's just, oh, I love it. So, how does the grip feel? The grip area, um, it's comfortable. It feels a little slippery. And that makes me grip it tighter. Which is okay, um, but for a long riding session may not be super comfortable. I also, I, I don't like that I feel this part right here, that it's, this is so sharp. Um, so I'm going to put that, the, um, the metal band, while it um, prevents total slippage, meaning my fingers aren't just going to slide right off the pen, um, is, sh is hard and uncomfortable. I think where it's the most uncomfortable is right there on my middle finger. Do you see how it kind of sits right there? And so it digs in and then I get this dug in line here that is uncomfortable. Um, as far as the weight of the pen, the pen is very lightweight without the cap. You see that I had um, some skipping issues here with the G and the T. I turned the pen at a different angle and um, got some skipping. So very lightweight, uncapped. For me, um, it is too weighty with the cap. I, I have written both ways and I don't like it with the cap. To me, it's uncomfortable. It sits in my hand just fine like this. I think if you had a larger hand, you probably would need to write with it capped. But, you know, you also have to be comfortable when you're holding the pen versus the weight. And so, I, 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 for me, this is the right way to, to use this pen. And I generally don't like to cap it or post it when I'm writing anyway. As far as the balance of the pen, it's, it feels well balanced. I don't feel um, a particular leaning towards the, the, the nib or the back of the pen. So to me, it seems fairly well balanced. If I hold it right about where I'm, um, where I would be holding it in my hand, it feels like the, the, the center of the pen's weight is right there, which is pretty close to where you're holding it. And so I think that creates a, a nice balance there. So well balanced. Um, weighted hello <laughs> weighted in the center of the bot of the pen body I've used some pens where it's like super weighted at this end and it almost feels like it's lifting the pen off the paper I don't like that when it's super heavy nib uh, I, I like it to feel balanced um some other things the nib. Let's talk about the nib. So with this pen, the person that sent it to me said, I don't remember if it was about this one or another pen he sent, but that I would need to maybe do some smoothing of the nib. And I did on this one as well as another one that I will review. And I didn't spend a whole lot of time on it, but um, I would say that this the nib the nib isn't the best. Or the worst. That's what I would say about this nib. Um, it is slightly scratchy. And I think from my, my smoothing, it definitely has a sweet spot.
And if I'm not sitting in that sweet spot, like this right here, you see where I had some skipping, I get something like this. As long as I stay in the sweet spot, it has, um, so let me write this, as long as I stay in the sweet spot, line width and ink flow are consistent. As soon as I tip it at a different angle or move it up or somewhere other than the sweet spot, I begin to have issues where it becomes way more scratchy. I get some skipping like I did here in the word definitely. Um, you see I had skipping and then like really light ink flow. So I think this pen could probably use a little more, the nib could use a little more smoothing, but you know, as it is, it's totally usable and I, I typically don't move around too much, you know, and change angles with the pen. Um, so it's not typically an issue when I see something like this. I just kind of readjust, recalibrate where I'm holding it and it, it goes away. But I think it could definitely use a little more smoothing. Um, so as you saw when I was starting up, this pen several times when I've left it and it sat there for any period of time, a couple days, a week, whatever, um, it always has a startup issue. So I'll always have to get that ink flowing just initially. When I uncap the pen, it's not like it just writes immediately. When I inked it up, it did write immediately. When I inked it up for the very first time, it, right out of the right out of the ink well, it wrote very well. But um, as far as startup over time, it does dry up and so you need to lubricate it by you know turning the converter getting some ink out whatever you're doing but I've noticed that each time I pick up this pen it always has a, a startup issue and I don't know if it's that if it's this pen or if it's this ink because I haven't had any other ink in this pen um, but I have noticed that let's see let's do some um, some lines for you. And you can see I'm having no problem with nice consistent lines. This just shows the beauty of that ink. It's just so beautifully shaded. Um, and now I'll try to give it some pressure and see if it flexes. It definitely can flex. The nib doesn't feel super hard um, like a Twisby or something like that. So you can see, I mean, you can see it even from that angle. I was able to flex and I didn't have to push too hard, although I don't think that that's a very natural amount of pressure for me when I'm riding. I don't think I would get that, but let's see. Um, so you can see, um, that I was able to get some line variation on the downstroke. Gosh, I don't know if that if the beauty of this ink is coming across to you, but it is oh, it is gorgeous. Um, so yeah, there's definitely some flex capabilities here. If you wanted to take the time to flex as you're writing, I think that you could do that with this pen. It's not going to be like crazy flex, but um, there is some flex. And I think you can also see, because the ink is still shiny, I think you can see that shine. I can see it on the camera, especially like there and there. The ink is still wet. And so I think this would be a good choice if you wanted to do flex writing and you were using an ink that had some really nice shading to it because it's going to show that off. This nib is a pretty wet writer, um, especially when I was pushing down. I mean, that ink is still, still wet. Um, I'm not running my hand over it because I know it's wet. I can visibly see that it's wet. And so I think you can see there. See how it's much lighter on this side than it is on that side? This is a really nice nib for showing off that ink variation if you wanted to take the time to flex. So if I'm doing something like just this, you can see 
nice wet ink flow, no issues, and um, gosh, that really just shows off how pretty this ink is. Ugh. So um, I hesitate to even run my finger through it because I can see it's wet, it's going to be wet. But if I were just to do some something like that, definitely a wet writer. Got it on my finger, it's smeared on the page. So this is something that you're going to need to let dry. But this ink is worth it. So <laughs> I don't know if now I'm talking more about the ink or the pen, but um, it's just a really beautiful, beautiful ink. And it's a good looking pen. Um, as far as any problems, so again, the only problems that I would say are definitely startup after um, a period of time where it's just sitting there. And I do believe that the nib, I don't know if this is a problem so much as just be aware, but the nib, this nib, um, at least needs tuning and I think it would probably benefit from it if I actually did it some more but I haven't done that at this point I just did kind of a first run I would also say maybe this isn't a problem maybe that's the wrong word but the issues that I have with it it's got like a super heavy cap heavy cap to me that's unnecessary but whatever <laughs> that's just uh, nitpicky now so um oh and this the metal band on the grip so the metal band at the at the grip that is also kind of an issue for me this thing so anyway um, I hope you enjoyed this review of the Bauer 388 um, if you have any questions you can leave them in the comments below and of course I always appreciate the comments that you leave and I appreciate you watching so um, thanks for watching and have a nice day we'll see you soon bye